All right, and we are back with another Bully Scholarship Edition video. Our next mission is to go to the principal's office. I assume that we have been, uh, I assume we have been summoned to go there because that is the current mission. If I'm not mistaken, there should be an, an, an announcement for me to go to the principal's office that I might have missed. Let me see. Let me see. They might give it to me as soon as I enter here. Oh, I guess they didn't give it to me. Shush. Yeah, there should be a, a, an announcement to let me know to come to the principal's office, but it's okay. We can. Someone's crying. Who's crying? Ah, Hopkins. Now What's I'm up? not one to give in to popular sentiment. You can tell that by your clothes. What? I'm saying you dress great. Irrelevant. As right. I said, I am not a people pleaser, but in your case, I'm going to make an exception. An exception? Cool. Yes, you are without a doubt the least popular boy in the school right now. Even that fat child who wets himself is more popular than you. Right. Coincidentally, it has also come to my attention that you are a filthy, dirty, foul-mouthed, awful little vandal. Yeah, well, we already knew that. Very true. <laughs> a comedian until the end. Well, you'll have to pursue your comedic talents elsewhere, boy. What? I can't stay here in clown school? Not for you. I'm not the one who's funny. You know what's funny? You. You're a joke, you old creep. You and your stuck-up, lame-ass school with its bullies and sex-pest teachers. This place is a dump, and you're a big-nosed freak. This school rewards Damn. losers. Damn. <laughs> he seems flinched back. Stand up to them. You painted obscene graffiti on the town hall, boy. I have it on good authority. It was you. Oh, yeah? Then who squealed? Tell me that. A commendable pupil did feel the need to tell me you were responsible for this outrage. Gary Smith. Look, I may have painted a few jokes on the town hall, but that kid likes to torture people. Gary Smith is the next head of this school. He's responsible. It's not a good case to make. not afraid of being an unpopular leader. You are blind, old man. Blind. And you are leaving. I tried to contact your mother, but she's still off on a cruise. Until I hear from her, I will have to let you stay here in your room. But you may not wear the school uniform or uh, attend classes. Be, I can't go to photography. To attend to your education elsewhere. Now get out. Whatever, man. Dude, I'm just trying to get to photography, and I'm just—I'm never gonna get there. I'm never gonna be able to do my yearbook. I just want to do my yearbook, dude. Oh, dude. How's it look? I think I'm getting Julio, dude. Please let me go. Yeah, beat his ass. Beat his ass. All right. Well. We're here. We're, we have been expelled, and it's time to, as the game says, busting in. Uh, let's do it. Is this is this the clothes we want to we want to bust in with? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's bust in with this. Hey Jimmy, how you doing? Terrible. Everybody hates me. Everybody might hate you, but everybody laughs at me. Yeah, that's true. Those kids are <laughs> jerks anyway. But I tried. I know. I mean, I tried to do the right thing, make people happy, stop all the fighting, make everyone calm down. Now everyone laughs at me. People used to be scared of me, and now I'm a joke. It was Gary. It must have been. I know. I can't deal with the fact that that kid beat me. Well, it ain't over yet. God, one minor setback, and you're acting like a baby. You're pathetic. I've been expelled. They're just waiting for my mother to come back from her 58th honeymoon, then I'm out of here. How is that a minor setback? Losers. Oh, Damn. Shut up, you fat dork. Whatever. You and your has been friend don't scare me. See? Even a dork like that laughs at me. We gotta prove Gary was behind everything. We don't even know if it was Gary. All we know is townie kids beat up a bunch of Bullworth kids. I mean, I don't even care anymore. Well, we've gotta find out what's going on. Come on. Okay, but if we're gonna take on those townies, we're gonna need a bunch of backup. Someone big who doesn't hate me yet. Russell. Russell. He'll be at his house at Old Bullworth Vale. All right, let's go there then. That's not where I started my mission at. My, I started my mission here, but they were actually behind the school. Uh, let me see. Because I need to go back this way anyway so I can go pick up my bike. Uh, the the cussing might have started over there in terms of me where I started it from, but the cussing actually takes place right here behind the school. If you guys look hard enough, it was right in this area here. It was right here in this area. I don't know why. Wait, no, the thing's over here. All right, let's go get my bike so we can go start a fight. And that's a reference to the last video if you guys haven't seen it. There we go. 
We are good now. I will grab those marbles. Maybe some spray cans for to, to tangerine people, but I, th I think we're good. I think we're good with what we got. Okay. And we up. And we up again. Bro, you can get some hype with these bikes, even though they're kind of shitty. For, for tricks, at least. At least for tricks. Okay, here we go. Hey, Russell. I need your help to bust into the dropout's hideout. Only if Russell gets to destroy. That's a police bike, my guy. That's not even an actual motorcycle. I think that's a police motorcycle. Yeah, I think that's a police motorcycle. Lady, I'm so sorry. Don't get mad. Oh, she's angry, and then her husband's mad too. Damn. Well, good thing y'all ain't got no scooters. Y'all should have had one last time. They said they said to cop to, to cop a car. They should have got a scooter. Maybe quickly get on my ass. I know I hit that lady. I know I did. I apologize. I didn't though. Even in real life, I didn't. All right, let's go ahead and follow Russell on the police motorcycle, I guess. Oh, I can still punch on this? What? Oh, I'm getting, I'm getting, the, at the very top right, you see that I'm getting some uh, stuff for not having a helmet. Uh, I guess notoriety. All right, let's get there. You know, I never got that last transistor. Where is that at? It should be like, a, like an overhead punch or something I was supposed to get at some point. I can't believe I haven't gotten that last transistor. You, the game usually puts everything in your face. Uh, especially the transistors. I don't know why I don't have it. I must have I must have easily passed it up at some point. Because I want to get I want to get the overhead punch. It's uh, the last the last last combo. Okay. We made it. We're well, not yet, because I think we gotta go to the factory. Spaz. It says at the very top up there. Damn, they're locked. Ah! Oh damn! Busting in part two already starting. Oh, that's gotta hurt. <laughs> and then he destroyed the motorcycle. Uh -oh. That's not good. This What's up? What the hell do you think you're doing? What Saying do you hi. Mean? Smashing into our barricade like that? Completely out of control. Oh, our barricade. I've got to talk to that Edgar kid. I don't think he wants to talk to you. And you can't get in while the power is out anyways. Then here, let me restore that power. Then, oh, no, they got that dude. It's that pervert that was in the girl's uh, changing room. It's the guy with the beard who looked like he shouldn't. He should definitely not be in there. I swear that is a grown man. I swear that's, that's not a kid, bro. That's a grown man. I swear. Click. I assume he's supposed to be like 17, though, or 18. You can grow a beard at that age. Some people do grow facial hair a lot faster than some people. Uh, let me see. How am I, where am I supposed to go? I mean, it's bully. It can't be that difficult. Oh. Don't kick me while I'm down. Thank you. Hold that. There we go. And action. I know I'm off beat. It's because I have Bluetooth headphones in. If I put in my red headphones, I'll be I'll be on beat. All right, then let me go ahead and get in that office. Then, thank you for helping me get the Edgar, though. I, I like, I like how, I like where her allegiance is. Ooh, now that we have the power restored, so she is working with me. Right now, 
Why does he have a key to the plant? <laughs> These kids are out of control, bro. Die. I mean, I am too. I just killed a kid, but still. I'm only out of control because they out of control. We gotta cut through the train yards. Let's do it then. I think this should be like a little uh, mini game. Let's see if I can find it. There we go. That's not a mini game. I lied. This should do something. Well, I guess technically this isn't a mini game. <laughs> I do remember this. I thought it was. The game pretty much tells you. I guess it doesn't really tell you, but it's self-explanatory what you gotta do. So is it really a puzzle? I got you though. Then I'm not gonna let you in then. Okay. Damn. I'll just kind of come back and say hi, see how you're doing. I mean, you are, you know, you're working against Edgar right now. You, you could be in trouble. These kids don't care. All right, but I go get the switch though. This, this is why Zoe ain't gonna be my girlfriend. That, that, that shit right there. I can't, I can't allow people to just talk to me like that. And then just like, yeah, sure. That's fine. That's an okay way to talk to me. Hold that! Uh. Hold that. Uh. He was like, one minor setback and you're pathetic. So some something like that. Penny just chill out too. One minor setback and, and then you give up. That's pathetic. Like, bro, I just got yelled at by the principal for, for committing an actual crime and then I got expelled. And then Gary's the reason why everyone hates me. This is not a minor setback. Pete is the one that's been wallowing in self-loathing this entire time. Everyone's laughing at me. I can tell him to say one minor setback and you just... I can say the same thing. Petey is... Petey sucks, bro. Petey sucks. He's cool though at times, but Petey sucks. One minor setback? Then stop complaining about being... Stop, stop complaining about being laughed at. Damn. I'm too cool to be a dork and too dorky to be anything else. Is she distract? Oh, she's is she dancing? What's she doing? What is she doing? All right, well, I guess she's distracting them. I don't know if she's using her feminine powers or not. It is a superpower. It's a superpower that women use that women have in real life. And it works. So let's go ahead and let's. Is Omar up here? We don't like your kind around here. Well, good thing I'm not playing a black protagonist because I would take that the wrong way. You're still alive? You get shot with a spud gun twice in your chest and you still breathe and are still alive? Oh, okay. Well, that's Omar. There we go. We're doing fantastic right now. We're doing great. Let's go. Oh, I didn't see that. There we go. Oh, I, oh, I thought I died. Okay. Simple, simple, simple. Do I jump? Oh. Oh boy, I was about to jump down into the, 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 what is that? Is that like nuclear waste down there? Ah! Okay, we're good. Ah! We're good. So what do I do now? Oh, okay. Okay. Oh. Got that sinking feeling in my stomach. 
Can I slide? Hell yeah. That's it. Do I drop down? Oh, I can drop down from here. I can drop down. There's a ladder. I can drop down. This ain't gonna kill me. I'm following him. Give me a second. Let me drop. Thank you. Appreciate that. What? I'm gonna break your face. Let's get it then. Come on. Oh, we're gonna get my Captain America on. Let's do it. Come on. Here we go. I mean, if he's gonna come at me full speed like that. So what do I, oh, do I use the shield? Oh, yeah. oh, it went away. Okay. Again, they give me like, okay, if you look, they give me like six, one, two, three, four, five, they got like five shields, but I only have to beat them just a little bit. That's weird. I don't know why they give me some, I guess this fight was supposed to be a lot longer. This is but the game is, com combat is extremely simple, so I assume that's kind of why. Nope. Okay. Hold on. Damn! I'm gonna just tap that X button real quick. I ain't even gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna tap that X button real quick. And, and, and dare him to do something. Mm, 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 mm. I'm gonna get this pipe back and start beating your ass. Get knocked out with a pipe. You had enough? You want some more? Come on, big guy. You still think messing with me is a good idea? No, no, no. Good. That's what I thought. Now, what made you think it was a good idea in the first place? Oh man. I hate that school. My parents couldn't afford to send me there, and now I'm stuck in this dump of a town. Gary said we'd make them all pay. Wait a second. Gary? That backstabbing two-faced sociopath put you up to this? Ah, I bet he said the two of you would take over the school or some crap. Hey, how'd you know? Because he told me the same garbage. Didn't do me any good either. Come on, you're gonna help me make him pay for his lies. Now listen to his voice for the next cutscene, because then he's gonna start sounding like this. For like no reason. You no, know, you're all right, Jimmy. Yeah, okay. See ya. Town to respect a hundred, baby. We're on a hundred. We're on a hundred. Glad that's done. Okay, let's do it. Complete mayhem is what it's called. And I still can't do no classes, so shit, let's do complete mayhem then. Fuck it. Oh, this cutscene's so weird. Watch this. Okay, you're not gonna see it. I know you're gonna be looking for something weird, but it, I'll explain. It's the writing. It's the writing what specifically. What the hell are you doing here? Looking for you, Zoe. I think I'm in love. Don't be ridiculous. Haven't you heard? Heard what, my love? The school has broken out into a massive fight. Every gang and faction is fighting each other. What? Yeah. Oh man, I gotta go. How am I gonna deal with this? I'm gonna need some serious backup. Where's Russell? Where's your buddy Edgar? Russell has been holed up in the Wonder Meat Slaughterhouse, hiding from the cops. He's worried about going to prison after stealing that bike. Russell can comprehend prison? Wow. And destroying Look, it. I'll see you later. Well, what about <laughs> love? It'll have to wait, Zoe. Duty calls. You see, again, I, uh, that's the part I'm talking about. I think I'm in love, Zoe. Like, you can't love me right now. There's something going off to school. Something's going off to school? Shit, I gotta do something about it. But what about love? Like, oh, you... What kind of... Who was on the writing team that day? That's so confusing. What is going on there? That's such, that's such weird writing, dude. Hi, Zomi. I love you. Well, you can't love me right now. The school's in chaos. The school's in chaos. Let me go do something about that. What about love? Let's... Not right now, Zoe. Duty calls. Like, what are you... What? Who wrote that? All right, I'm gonna go get Rep Russell real quick. I really don't care about the cops like that. Jimmy, there you are. I don't know what to do, and I 
smell like meat. Of course. Hey, look, if I was in your uh, if I was in your shoes, I'd be hiding in the corner too. Okay, Russell has nothing in his hand and he's running super fast. Oh, he's running at my speed. Oh. Oh, damn. You saw me. I saw him turn back around. Jimmy. Come on, we gotta get to the school. All hell's breaking loose. Well, look at the Lewis and Edgar's hey, voice. Jim, this is your turf. What the hell's going on? The whole place has gone mental. Yeah, it's your old friend Gary. He's the one causing all the trouble. The kid's a complete psycho, and now he's got the teachers and prefects on his side. So? So, we run in there, try to stop the fighting, and find a way to deal with Gary. <laughs> Alright, one question. How are we gonna stop a load of kids from beating the crap out of each other? It's America! We go in there with threats and bribes until we get what we want. If all else fails, we beat the crap out of everyone. That's why I brought along backup. Russell likes to hurt people for peace. That's America. Cool. <laughs> 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 That's America. <laughs> Damn, they're locked. Don't worry, Russell will get it. Rawr, rawr! Damn. Edgar, we'll take out the gang leaders. Without them, oh. Gary's got nothing. Hold on, hold on. Russell would be there we go. I got my headphones in now. Now I'm gonna be. Now I'm gonna be on beat. I got your back, Melvin. Huh? I got your back, Melvin. I got your back. I got your back. Let's go. Come on. Everyone's going after Melvin. Damn. Damn. Oh, oh, oh I got. I, I got to slide you real quick. I got to slide you real quick, Algy. <laughs> I got to slide Algy real quick. Let's go. I had, to I had to slide him real quick. I, li I like how the, the beat starts to pick up. And it's like a morals. Let's get it. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, what does it say when you hit him in the nuts? Okay, okay. Oh, let me see if I'm not spitting his face. Hold on. Hold on, let me see if I'm not spitting his face. Hold on. Oh, never mind. Nah, he ain't gonna be alright. Damn, all I did was, all I did was uh, tackle him. Dude, I love this song, but I, I hate nodding my head off beat. Oh, damn, everyone's so pissed. Do -do 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 -do. You don't want to catch these hands, bro. Leave me alone. You don't want to catch these hands. Of course he's protected in here. Don't worry, right. I'll deal with him. You're getting really tiresome, Darby. Cut it out. Come on, let's go, Darby. Let's go. Come on. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, come on now. Woo! Harrington's never lose. Oh. Oh, I didn't want to use my legs. Come on. Fisty cuffs, baby. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. She said his hands are registered weapons. Damn. Russell, deal with him. Oh, oh, oh. Mm, come on. 
Come on. Russell, deal with this guy. Damn. He's about to kick me. You see that? Oh, well, if we're using legs, then fuck it. <clears throat> Get up. Oh, damn. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, we ain't gonna humiliate him. We're gonna knock his ass out. Bow. Bow. Come here. Woo! Came in with the heat. Come on, Russell. Uh. There we go. But it's, it's, the, the, music's gonna, the music's gonna calm down. I love this music, dude. It does so well. Yeah, eating a banana. <laughs> hey man, he got <laughs> he got he got to get his energy back. Yeah, take a little banana break. Who's gonna be in here? Of course. Ted, I need you to help me. Get lost, Jimmy. You ain't nothing. You're just asking for it. Move. Where's your health at, man? Cat's supposed to have health. Dude, you're supposed to be the, the captain of the football team. Can I borrow that, please? Thank you. Can I borrow that? Can I borrow it and also use it? That's what I'm also trying to ask. Damn. Damn. I'm not going to let him do anything to me. Damn. I got you. I got you, Russell. Hold on. Come on. Mmm. Oh, what is Tassel when you hit him in the nuts? Hold on. <laughs> he ain't wearing no cup. Hold on. Oh, you spit on an all American. <laughs> <laughs> you just spit on an all American. <laughs> I want to see what happened when you spat on Homeboy, uh, the, the leader of the nerds. Probably should did that to Darby, but I don't think Darby's gonna allow me to um uh uh grab him though. Somebody's going on the fuck there. You just spit on an all-American. <laughs> on an all-American, ooh. This is awesome. What the hell are you doing, Johnny? Why are you taking orders from Gary? Shut up, Jimmy! You left us and everything went down the toilet! I beat you once, I'll beat you again. No. Let's get it. Damn. Hmm. Here we go. Hmm. Come on. Whoa. In the nuts, Johnny, in the nuts. Now you're making me angry. <laughs> Stay on the ground. Russell, he has you on the ground? Really? He had you on the ground? Wow, what happened? What did I miss? Russell, get your leg back. Damn. Oh, wow. Hey. Okay. We're live we're, we're going to be living off on a high note here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Bully Scholarship Edition. If you did, do all the things to show that you enjoyed. We'll be back with the finale to the entire story and you guys have a good rest of your day and night depending on which side of the world you guys are on.